I bought more Magia booster packs. What is up, everybody? We are back with another Magia video, and um, I don't know how long this is going to go because we are currently at almost 3,400 packs open, which is, you know, two packs away from the lucky Roxon 3,400 packs. Who knows? Maybe that's the number. And at this point, the boxes are getting ridiculously hard to find and expensive. So every time we do another video, it just gets more and more expensive trying to find this thing. But luckily for me, Aiden hooked us up. He sent us a note. Hey, Roxon, hopefully these boxes can be the lucky charms. <laughs> Please. Please, I'm begging you. I was hel hoping the last case, so you guys remember when he sold us a case pretty recently. Thank you for bringing us the content of the 250K special. Hopefully you guys like that. If you guys missed that 250K videos, there is a playlist with all seven videos. Make sure you guys go watch the every pack opening. It's pretty amazing. We open every pack ever in English, TCG. Over 325 different packs. Pretty amazing, all first dead. All such good content. I included a small giveaway for the viewers as well. I can't wait to see what you pull out of these. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you, Aiden. And yes, there is a giveaway. It is, is it a Megaton, I think? Okay, there's a thing on here. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. So it looks like it is a sealed Megaton for one of you guys. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Just make a comment. I mean, we've said what needs to be said about Mejia, right? Oh, haven't we? Haven't we? All right, so the best part about what Aiden did was he sold us nine booster boxes, right? So it's like, okay, loose booster boxes, a little scary. He opened the case himself. He opened three boxes. He said he didn't get any QCRs. So he's basically giving us, uh, you know, he's cutting through some of the crap for us. You know, I don't know if he pulled U Bell or whatever, but he's getting through the, the non QCRs and giving us an even better chance. You know, one in three boxes, assuming this case has three. Uh, to get the main, you know, to get QCR. So we'll hopefully get three and hopefully give us a chance, you know, 12% or however that works. Not a great chance, but he has given us, uh, you know, a better chance than we would have. So let's see if today, will today be the day? Will it be pack two when we get the Magia? That'd be pretty crazy. All right, let's start it off with Battles of Legend, Terminal Revenge, and oh my goodness. Yeah, oh man. Yep, it's Terminal Revenge. You guys have seen Terminal Revenge a few times. Let's go. Let's see. Blazing Cartesia, Void Breach, Synchro. I <laughs> see. All right. We got a little fusion to start us off. All right. Pack number 3,400. Ruxin 3,400. Ruxin 34. 3,400 packs. Is this the moment we've been searching for? Come on. Here we go. Second pack of the video. This would be pretty crazy. Uh, and FYI, I have, uh, you know, I, I'm just letting you know, guys. I've actually already pulled the Magia. Like, whoa, 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 what does that mean? I know we're only two backs in, but I wanted to get the 3400. But yeah, we've already pulled the Magia, guys. You might have missed it. If you guys weren't on twitch.tv slash Ruxin34 recently, we opened a lot of packs and we pulled the Magia. Where it's just like somebody got lucky a couple times with blisters. It doesn't actually mean that. It just feels like it. Yes! <laughs> we got it! No more gems will be spent. Thank goodness! Ah, oh, we're free! Ah, oh, there you are! Beautiful! Let me get out of the way. Wow, it's so good to see you. So there it is, guys. We've now pulled Magia in Master Duel. We've pulled the Korean. Now we need the English. Oh, maybe we need the Japanese version as well. So, yeah, uh, that was pretty fun. We spent 11,000 gems in Master Duel, though. We were still getting super unlucky just to get the basic version, not like the crazy, you know, Royal Rare or even the Hollow version. All I needed was a regular version. And I was pulling every UR except the one we needed. Yeah, it was brutal. So I'm actually going to be playing more Master Duel soon. So if you guys want to see that, uh, we're doing Master Duel Mondays, of course, every Monday. And on Wednesdays and Fridays for a while, we're going to be hitting up the ladder of the current meta. It's going to be pretty crazy. So if you want to see that, make sure you guys go. There we go. Substitute. Give me a follow on Twitch. We are uh, just past 12,500 followers. Pretty exciting. We do a lot of different things over there, but right now we are doing a lot of Master Duel. Now that we have Magia, we're going to try to build that Magia deck, but it is very expensive. There's a lot of Ultra Rares in the decks for uh, for that for that specific Magia, because there's like a, a lot of different builds, but they all involve a bunch of URs, so it's not going to be easy. But eventually, maybe we'll make it happen. Inferno, come on, Sing Engine. We've got the Void Imagination, Secret Rare. But yes, I have been having fun on Master Duel, so go check that out if you guys have not. If you guys enjoy, you know, a little bit more modern Yu-Gi-Oh, I've I went back to my Invoke Dogmatica Dark Magician Shadal deck, you know, from two, three years ago. 
We did make it to silver so far. I mean, it's not saying much because bronze, you either face like a current meta deck or you face like somebody with a structure deck. So yeah, you get free wins everywhere. So it's not too bad, Brianek. But on the other hand, we are playing with a pretty old deck ourselves. It's not amazing. Uh, you know, a lot of the time you brick super hard, but it is, it can be decent. If you can get out your Mechaba, you can set up, there we go, Sprite Starter. You can set up a few other things like your Dogmatica with your Fleur de Lis in the hand, you know, it's a, as a negate, if you have any hand traps. You can also set up the Dark Magician with Dark Magical Circle, potentially. Shadal, you know, uh, bring out Winda, you know, pretty annoying, but yeah, so there's a lot of things that can that can happen in there. And it is pretty fun. It is pretty fun to, you know, revisit a little bit more modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, you know, it's been a couple years. Like, we did a lot of Master Duel in 2022. And then 2023, I basically did none. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Not anymore. 24, we haven't done any yet. So it's, I mean, it's almost the end of the year. So it's really been a very long time. But I've been having fun. So hopefully you guys will come over and check it out. Go give me a follow over there. We stream uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch. So if you want to be there for... So, I mean, I stream a lot. I stream three days on Twitch. We stream on YouTube. Uh, just not a consistent schedule. It depends on the new releases and, you know, box breaks and stuff. But usually box breaks are on Tuesday, Tuesday nights. If it's a new set, it's usually on like a Saturday. Sometimes we do a dual stream with Whatnot on Thursday. Whatnot streams are always on Thursdays. So a, a lot of some weeks I will do five to six streams a week. So you could find me live quite, quite often, actually. So if you want to ever hop in. Even if it's not, you know, related to the stream, if you want to come hang out, whatever. It's very chill. The Twitch is de Twitch and whatnot are definitely the most, like, close-knit because there's less viewers on those, especially the Twitch when we're doing Pokemon. There's, like, you can come in and you're basically, like, the, the number one viewer, you know. Not really because we got a few dedicated, awesome viewers over there. But compared to, like, numbers of, like, YouTube and stuff, we get a lot less. So it's a little bit more, in, in like, intimate sounds weird. But you know what I mean. Like, you guys can talk to me like one-on-one -on -one pretty easily uh whatnot is we do get you know we have a couple hundred viewers on whatnot but it's still pretty easy to follow the chat or at least most of it so it's always fun to do those so if you guys are interested make sure you come on over the streams guys it's very fun if you just like the youtube channel i mean it's always easier to watch youtube because you can watch it at any point you know you don't have to be there live i get that i also watch youtube so i understand uh let's see and that's why i put out so much youtube content so you guys have that option oh that would have trolled me so hard that would have trolled me so hard if i had like slow rolled it and saw fusion oh my gosh that's the third time we pulled this by the way it's a good card though third time we pulled that qcr how do we pull the same one three times and we can't pull it once how's that happen still a nice card we're off to a good start i guess technically on this video Man, that is brutal, Infernoid. Earthbound, Void Breach. Shining Star Dragon, okay, come on. Man, a Fusion QCR. Fusion QCR, let's see what we can get. Diviner, nice. Sacrifice Guard Dog, and Void Imagination. Three packs left in box number one. Don't worry, we're not gonna end it on box number one, guys. Don't worry. We're gonna open more than that today. Maybe we'll get two Fusions. There are three Fusions in here. I keep pulling... So I've pulled the Ubel once, which is like the second best card. I've pulled the Magia Zero Times, which is the best card. And I pulled the Ubelion in terms of fusions. There's three fusion cards. Three times, which is the worst of the fusions. It's still one of the better QCRs. I think it's maybe like 75 bucks, but Snatch Steel in our wallet. There we go. You would not believe how many Snatch Steels we pulled in Master Duel. It's funny because in Master Duel, it, they don't just release like Terminal Revenge of Master Duel. They do their own specific sets where they like jumble a bunch of sets together. But Snatch Steel is still in the same set as Magia. So I kept Snatch stealing my wallet on freaking Master Duel too. It was crazy. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. This is like definitely a sign. Uh, Mirror Mage, okay. All right, Aiden, you got us a good QCR, but you didn't get us the goodest QCR. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, it never ends. We're never gonna pull it. We've opened 3,400 packs. How is that possible? And I still haven't pulled the Millennium Shield. And I still haven't pulled the Judgment Dragon. And I really hope, because I'm recording this, like, right before we do the uh, opening for Rage of the Abyss, I really hope that we pulled the Spirit or Heart of the Blue Eyes, because otherwise, add that to the list. I'm not going to be shocked if we don't, though, honestly. But look, at this rate, I'm cursed. I can't pull anything we need. I think the last time we got something that we actually were searching for, was it the baby Judgment Dragon, like Judgment Dragonling? We got that one super quick. I'm trying to think. 
Was there another one we actually got what we wanted? Because it's been absolutely brutal recently about getting the, the actual cards we want. Frozen Domain and Gigantic Sprite. Man, this has been rough. All right, two from the back. We have Sprite Red, Hex of Spirit, Sacrifice Level Up, Guard Dog, Tri Brigade More Courier. It has been brutal. We have been cursed ever since June when this was released. July, August, September, October. I mean, it's been four months. Like, basically four full months. We're almost there. Like, only a couple of days away from being at four full months. Of searching. This is crazy. When shall it end? Diviner of the Herald. Very nice. I don't know. Synchro Panic and Ebon Sun. It hurts me. It's painful. It's rough. Please. Please. I need some mercy. Konami. Synchro Creed. Please, Konami. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on your your young lad, Ruxin34. He needs some encouragement by pulling this thing. Come on. Come on. Don't let us get the 4,000 packs, please. Not 4,000. Not 4,000 packs, Toy Box. Legendary Exodia Incarnate. Why are you like this, Magia? Why are you like this? Toy Tang, Guard Dog, Mirror Mage. This is crazy, man. So many packs have been opened. So many videos have been made. But yet... Okay, this is... Well, let me see what video this is. I think this is video 23. Oh. Video 23. 23 videos about the same card. I still haven't even pulled my favorite card, the Millennium Shield, because I haven't even pulled this yet, so I haven't been able to focus on it. Blaze is a pretty good card. This is absurd. How? 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 I had hope. We had all those cases to open up, even after we didn't get it substitute number two. I was like, don't worry. There's still time. There's still, there's still packs to be opened. Well, guess what, guys? It hadn't helped. Snatch still in our wallet again. Aiden? If, look, Aiden, I'm just going to say this. If we pull this out of this case, you will become a legend, okay? You're already a legend because you've hooked us up with some uh, some boxes. He actually gave us a, a $75 boxes, which was, I mean, at this point is amazing. So thank you, Aiden. Thank you, Aiden. You saved me a little bit of money. A little bit of money searching for this thing. I appreciate you. Because at this point, there's there's no, you know, there's not a lot of great deals to be had on this, you know, because, I mean, it's not a new set anymore. It's four months old. Four months. I, I cannot even throw the packs into the receptacle because it is, it's just, you know, it's just part of the Meiji hunt, right? Part of the Meiji hunt. Dude, if we pull this thing, this is going to become like my number one card in my collection. Sprite Gamma, come on. Snatch steal in my wallet, number three. Who's surprised it's snatched still in my wallet? Nobody. Nobody. Oh, we are. We're, I mean, we're making our way up toward 3,500 at this rate. After this box, it'll be 3,446. 3,446. I mean, come on. Come on. 3,446 for one card. Brand Infusion. Well, this is four. This is 44. 34, 44. 3, 4, 4, 4. It's like, third, it's like Rux and 34, kind of. An Infernoid. Two packs left. Please. 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 Make it happen. Right here. Sky Striker Ace, Azalea Temperance. Oh my goodness. Come on, last pack magic out of this box. Here we go. Sprite Blue. First one of two boxes, I think. Void Breach. Life Hack. And Tri Brigade. We're not done yet, guys. We're not done yet. We are not giving up that easily. We are not giving up that easily, okay? Today is the day it happens. I have faith. I have faith this will be the one. This will be the moment. Let's go. Let's go. Send me some luck, guys, in the comments. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe because that's, uh, you know, two fit. Do I see something back there? Electrode. Subscribe because if you sub hit subscribe right now, if you all hit subscribe right now, we'll pull the card. Red Lotus, uh, that's not bad. That's not a bad card. I'm out of sleeves. It's not a bad card to get. I'm just gonna set it on its own. We'll get a sleeve later. Not a bad card to get two QCRs in this one. Two QCRs. Okay. See how it is. Could this be a legendary four QCR case? That'd be pretty amazing. Aiden, you fucked us up with some good boxes, but 
They're not the goodest so far. It's not too late though. Sprite Jet, I believe these other packs. Substitute number three. These have actually been really good. If we get a U Bell here, would we actually make our money back on what $225? I don't know. We'll have that on the screen. This would be pretty crazy. I mean, because like making our money back, that's a thing of the past with Terminal Revenge until we pull the Meiji, obviously. Uh, which and then you have to take into account how many packs we open total. So we, we only made our money back on that one opening, not the entire thing. Obviously, definitely haven't made our money back. Looking at the price we've spent, which I haven't even added this one that we're opening now. So yeah, Toy Box and Branded Fusion. Still no you bell on these, but that's okay. Red Lotus Flame Crime. I don't know what that goes for, but it is one of the better secrets. So I assume the QCR is pretty decent. Sprite Starter is also pretty good. I feel like we're getting a lot of those like few dollar secrets too, which definitely adds up. It helps out. It helps me just, you know, turn it into more boxes. Earthbound Life Hack. Infernoid. Potermayas. Still a few packs left. I, I don't think I've ever pulled two Q, QCRs in one box. I'm sure it can happen though. Like, yeah, I mean, not necessarily on purpose, but I'm sure it has happened before, right? I mean, some sort of error mispackage. So I'm holding that hope. I'm holding that hope. Maybe that's where the mages are. Maybe they're only in like two QCR boxes. Kind of like how the, uh, back in the, it was like the fifth Starlight, the reprint one was always in a case with another QCR or another uh, Starlight, because back in the day, you only got one Starlight per case, basically. Not even per case, it was one every two cases. So if you got a Starlight, it was like half the time, the second QCR, you would get a second QCR randomly, and it would be the uh, the fifth one. So it was like it was like outside the ratio almost. I don't know if that was, that was definitely not a confirmed thing, but it felt weird that that was happening, because it happened to me a couple of times with a couple of QCR cases. Snatch, stealing my wallet yet again. Come on, Pax. <sighs> How, how have we opened this many QCRs? This many QCRs and still haven't pulled it. I mean, that we've opened a ton of QCRs. It has been ridiculous. I mean, if it's every four boxes, that's what? 80, 96 packs. So about, you get one about every 100 packs. We've opened about 34, 34 plus QCRs. There's only 20 in the 25 in the set. So yeah, we're still going. We're still searching. We're getting triples and doubles of other ones. But yeah, we can't get the one we don't, you know, we haven't pulled yet. Brutal. It's brutal. I'm pretty sure we pulled that flame crime, haven't we? I thought I'd pull all of them, but that's one that I'm not, a, I don't remember specifically pulling that one, but I probably have. It's been so many packs. I can't even remember like specific videos anymore. It's just like all blending together of just failing over and over miserably. Six packs left here. Subscribe to the channel for more luck, guys. Send me a little luck in the comments. I'm going to need it. We're also making our way to 300K. That's pretty cool to say that we're on the, on the road to 300. I mean, 300 is pretty wild. 250 was amazing. We had a really awesome 250K week, which you guys can go check out the playlist if you haven't seen it. But I mean, that was pretty awesome. But 300, we might have to go even harder for 300K. I really hope, I really hope we can do something really awesome. Maybe even one up the 250k, which is the goal. I mean, it's hard to do because 250k, we did a lot of really cool things, but we're going to do some other really cool stuff. Okay, three packs left. Medallion, Hexa, Mirror Match, Arbitration, and Repair, Gen X, Secret Rare. Two packs left. By the way, if you guys haven't got your Pequeno Moth Met, I haven't mentioned this in the video, go check out Ruxin34.com. This is only available till the end of October, so by the time you see this, it's we're pretty much halfway, a little bit over halfway through October. So it's only available a couple more weeks. So give yourself a chance to go get it. Go buy it on my website. There is the zones and non-zones version. Appreciate you guys checking that out if you haven't already. We also have some other things available on my website as well. We're constantly updating that. Uh, there's always new stuff coming in. So keep an eye out on ruxon34.com. And that is it. Two QCRs pulled today. Both good, but not the goodest. Shout out to Tom Fo Show and Nesto Diana, America Deutscher, Brandon Cheney, Hextick, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F, and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.